Libras. Happy birthday. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season so far. For those who are new to my birthday bonus videos, I do them for every sign during their birthday season. So don't worry, y'all got one already because now I've been doing it for a year. Um, but Libras, these are very, very general and I will be doing a few. Am I out of focus already? What the heck? Okay, there we go. I will be doing a few to hit on different groups of you because I do keep these very general. So just keep in mind that this can be in any facet of your life and time is not linear. So this can apply to something that you went through recently, something you're going through right now or will be going through. Whenever you're guided to come, come across readings, that's when you're guided to watch it. Okay, even if it's not your sign, okay? Um, also, Libras, keep in mind it is energy, so uh, the roles can be reversed. It could be these messages, Jesus, I'm sorry, guys. The messages that could be coming through could be pertaining to people in your life or someone that you're energetically attached to. So just keep that in mind as well. And if any of this doesn't resonate, that's okay. It's for someone else, it's not for you. Libras, I actually already started this and I was like 20 minutes in and Clyde had acted up so much. He yanked the phone like off the table and I mean like hard, not just a little like, fall like it flew off the table twice within the first 20 minutes and I was like screw it I'm just gonna do it over again but it was really good it was really good we'll see if it comes up again but everything happens for a reason right so let's see what other what else we get for you guys eh. Eh. and happy October I saw this at the dollar store and I was like how could I not how could I not okay all right Libra let's get into this let's get into the first group here any messages for Libra? Any messages for Libra? Hmm. Ugh. Well, I'd already been channeling for 20 minutes, so my nose is quite itchy. Hmm. Any messages for Libra? Oh, I'm getting a different message than I, I was getting before. So the one I was getting before, I'll just tell you guys really quickly. It was basically about uh recognizing that you're in a really um how do i say the, this word inappropriate social dynamic whether it's at work you're in a career that you realize is not for you or you realize that you're around family members that are so not to who you are they don't match who you are um or you're around uh, friends that are not part of your soul tribe and don't support who you are it's making you realize that you've been living under some kind of conditioning, family conditioning, societal conditioning, or repressing a big part of yourself. And at the end of the day, you're not prioritized and your needs aren't met. And it was helping you break into who you really are supposed to be into a 10 of cups vibration, okay? That's essentially, that's what I was picking up on before. But right now I'm picking up on like a test. I don't know what this is about. Um, Libra, you could be feeling like you're being put to the test or you could actually be testing, <laughs> taking exams of sorts. Oh. Oh, 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 death in reverse. Scorpionic energy, not surprised this came out. With all the Pluto aspects that we're, uh, Jesus, with all the Pluto aspects we're experiencing right now and then going into Scorpio season from your season, Libra, um, there is a lot of shit coming out. There is. And I, I feel resistance with, I, I feel more trial than anything. But there's resistance there because it's difficult, Libra. Whatever is coming up for you, it's something that's been buried, buried deep okay very deep whether it's a situation trauma wounding a person back from the past because we are coming to that time too because of mercury retrograde pre-shadow has already started uh whatever is coming up for you libra it does feel heavy it feels dark and it feels like it's very difficult for you and you're kind of struggling a little bit don't fight it i know it's uncomfortable but don't fight it it's coming up for a reason anytime anything comes back from the past or comes up from the past it's happening to deal with it because it wasn't dealt with properly, okay? But I can feel I can feel your struggle with it. I can feel your struggle with it. Because it is your birthday season. Like, you just want to have fun, right? Any other messages? Oh, 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 for some of you, this is a family issue. Family is coming in really strong, actually, Libra. Family is coming in really strong here. Um, it's either a long-standing family issue or family dynamic. Okay, it's connecting a little bit to what I was picking up on before. Or a family dynamic that really doesn't... Um, doesn't nourish you feeling a little bit of sadness there uh <clears throat> doesn't nourish you doesn't support you you kind of feel oh libra shit uh you kind of feel like a ghost in whatever this issue is whatever this issue is that's bringing that's bringing shit up for you it's around wounding like that feeling almost invisible feeling a little bit like a ghost it doesn't feel so good 
It doesn't feel very good. This could also be within romantic uh, settings as well. As we all know, family woundings always translate to relationships. Also, not feeling heard. Not feeling heard. This is wounding around not, not feeling heard, and now you're really recognizing where that truly comes from. Okay? Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? I know, we started off with a heavy-ass one. Don't worry, Libras, we still got a couple more to go. <laughs> wow. Oh, shit, devil, Capricorn energy. You only, you only have two cards out here and they're heavy, dark ass. Actually, I would consider them to be the darkest major arcana cards. The devil and the death in reverse. Some of you are realizing where some of your addictions come from. Some of your addictions um, or why you oh, why you hold yourself back a lot and it is out of fear. Fear is always rooted in ego, Libras, okay? Keep in mind, this could be someone that you're connecting with. I do feel if it's, I, Libra, I feel like if it's someone you're connecting with, it's something romantic, okay? A lot of you, this is family trauma though or wounding that you received as a child or through childhood. Uh, others, it is also through your past relationships. But a lot of you, this is figuring out why you have your certain addictions or your certain vices and how to deal with that how to deal with that others like why you keep yourself so constrained or restrained in life um why you don't let your freak flag fly essentially and that you need to libra this isn't easy energy to deal with it's not it's literally going to the underworld and looking at the devil like in your in your own little mini underworld like that's literally what this is i would not be surprised if you're a libra scorp cusper if you have scorpio in your chart because that's a very scorpionic energy right there to deal with stuff like that okay any other messages for Libra? Yeah, it's like inner demons that, that you, you either have been ignoring or didn't even know were there. And you're like, oh shit, I got a lot of little demons I gotta take care of here. And it's hard and it's very emotional for you. I can feel that. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Some of you it's being triggered by family or a social environment that you're in right now. Oh yeah, see Libra, look at this. Four of Swords, Libra Energy, you need a timeout. This is you this is you going ghost <laughs> libra that's so interesting because i was getting like ghosting like you feel like a ghost like you feel like people don't see you or that people don't hear you or that you can't really let your freak flag fly and you're realizing that you real first of all you're realizing you feel that way and that a party has been repressed and you're also realizing oh shit now i get where that comes from and now i have to face it and deal with it and some of you are going ghost to deal with it like some of you are like just shutting off your phones some of you could also be going on vacation to deal with it or a little bit of a retreat uh some of you could not the season for that i mean i guess it de guess it depends on where you are in the world but I, I am getting very uh like camping mountainous kind of i mean i guess there's technically winter camping some of you guys are going camping libra so you guys are going camping some of you guys really need a vacation a timeout. if you're not going ghost like in your house or in your room you guys are going somewhere to go and deal with this and i think that's actually very beneficial libra Whatever place in the world that you find to be very peaceful, very tranquil, very, I'm also like very quiet, very quiet, you might want to go there, even if it's just for a day or two, you might want to go there, okay? I just heard Seattle, some of you guys, um, oh, in Canada, oh, okay, that's cool. I know a lot of you guys are from those areas, but some of you might find those places to be very calming and very quiet. Um, Oh, Libra, I'm like, I can feel your tears. I can feel it. And, and it's so interesting because it's like that resistance, right? That resistance to like, I can't let my freak flag fly. I have to resist. I have to resist. I have to resist. Um, some of you do that. Like some of you don't allow yourselves to cry. Some of you don't allow yourselves to purge in that way. You need to, Libra. You need to. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? I know, heavy, guys. Heavy, heavy, heavy. This clearly needed to come out, so Clyde acted a fool for a reason. <laughs> I love him, but he acted a fool. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Libra's for some of you, like someone's triggering you, and I was picking up on that. Oh, God, sorry. Oh, channeling. Um, where either a, a family dynamic or a social dynamic that you've been exposed to recently is triggering that for you. Why do I feel like this is about divorce issues or abandonment issues? Yeah, for some of you, this is stemming from like, um, from feeling abandoned as a child or or experiencing like separation of your, you know, of your family. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Some of you are going through a separation right now and it's triggering these issues. 
Oh, Libra. I love the energy we're ending on. Two of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy, and Strength Leo energy. I freaking love this because this is you having the courage to face this shit after you, you go ghost. After you go ghost or go wherever it is you need to go to go and deal with this craziness, to deal with this darkness. It's darkness. And guys, darkness is not necessarily bad. Dark and light exist for a reason. You need both. You really do. Like, to be balanced, you need both. The darkness serves the light. You know, you'll hear other readers say that. Um, I was talking to someone about this recently, actually. When it comes to darkness, I was having a very deep conversation. I'll, I'll be very TMI with you guys. Um, I don't care. I don't give a shit. You know me. I'm pretty shameless. Um, I was having a very deep conversation with someone about a dream that I had. Um, and I won't go into the details of the dream, but it was contingent on literally it wasn't safe in the light in my dream it wasn't safe in the light of day it was safe in the dark and it made me you know look back on my life and i was like oh yeah i am very comfortable with darkness <laughs> i am very comfortable with darkness and i realized i was comfortable with it because i lived most of my life in it right darkness serves a very important purpose to face a lot of our shit okay to face a lot of our shit to deconstruct a lot of that programming and Libra, you're just doing that right now. So Libras, if you're not if you're not used to living your life in darkness, I don't mean to sound all dramatic about it. Um, it's okay to be uncomfortable with it, but it's happening so you can deal with it, so that you can come to the light. Look, strength card, Leo, the sun, right? You could have a Leo placement, or you could know a Leo, uh, or you know you could be dealing with someone who's Leo in their chart. But to come into such confidence, like Leo, Leos have such amazing confidence about them. I love that about Leos, like. Also, they have great hair. They really do. Anyway, neither here nor there. Um, but to have the strength to walk into the light after going into the darkness, after taking that time out to do so, right? Two of Pentacles in reverse, you're dropping a lot of those baggages. You're dropping a lot of those constraints. You're dropping a lot of who you were to be who you're supposed to be. Oh, a Libra, I like that. I like that a lot. A lot of you are also realizing that your plate's been really full and that you need to lighten your load a little bit. I'm getting a little bit of people-pleasing yeah, Leo, I'm gonna, Leo, oh, that's funny, I just called you Leo. Libra, I feel, I do feel a little bit of people pleasing with this, okay? And so you're realizing that you really can't be doing that anymore, which is good. Don't overload yourself. Overall energy, we have the nine of wands in reverse. I love this. Saggy energy underneath that, we do have the hermit in reverse Virgo energy. Libra, I freaking love this because this is you coming out of that hermit mode. Four of swords is the minor arcana to the major hermit. So as above, so below. This is supposed to happen this way at this time. As you come out of this ghosting period, this MIA period, the shut them up, phone off, running away period, you are no longer that wounded person. Nine, Nine of Wands is known as like the wounded warrior kind of energy. It's the wounded card. It's, I am guarded and resilient because god damn it like i'm not gonna let anything else happen to me you know it's that kind of woundedness you're putting that shit down you're putting that shit down and libras if you guys have been guarded about anything you're also putting those defenses and guards down it's freaking beautiful i love it now let's go to the dark side let's go to the dark side for a minute libra let's look at the devil and see in detail what else you guys have been facing within this devil it might be very vague because i think it's different for all of you but let's go ahead and look at it okay Oh, by the way, <laughs> known as the sexy, oh, that's funny, I was going to say the sexy emperor deck, and there it is. Uh, it's called the Honest Truth deck. I finally got the information. It's the Honest Truth deck. You can find it on Etsy. I'm going to try to put it in the descriptions. I'm going to try to remember too. Um, but yeah, I don't think you can get it on Amazon, okay? Honest Truth deck. I feel like some guys wanted me to repeat it. Okay, let's look at this devil. Oh. Tell me about the devil for Libra. Time with the devil for Libra. Yeah, Libra, some of you, not all of you, some of you, these issues or these inner demons have kind of made you a little bit, uh, like I was saying, people pleasing, but like taking care of shit for other people when you don't have to, when you don't have to, that's a little bit of codependent energy. Some of you could be battling codependency issues with this devil, okay? Time with the devil. cards are running away from me tell me about the devil for libra tell me about the devil oh nine of swords gemini energy yikes okay so fears these inner demons that are coming up for you they're all rooted in, in your fears and what you're really truly afraid of and some of you are finding out for the first time 
what you're actually afraid of versus what you thought bothered you or what you thought your issues were. You're realizing all those issues that you thought you, you had or have really struggled with, they're actually all fear-based. And they're all about fears that you have. That's kind of a tough realization, okay? It's also weighing very heavy on you. Tell me about the devil. Keep in mind, Libra, like I said, this could be connect. This could be for someone that you're connecting to, okay? Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil for Libra regarding love. Oh, not regarding love. Why did I do that? <laughs> oh, that was probably a, slip, a little slip there. So I mean, this could be about um, your issues in love here. Five of Wands in reverse, Leo energy. Ugh. Yeah, I'm getting that like social dynamic here. I'm getting that social dynamic. Um, I, yeah, Libra, I feel like the all this stuff is being triggered for you because of other people around you. Yeah, because of other people around you, whether it's people who've come back in the past and you're just like, holy fucking shit, or it's just people who like want to give their opinions and shit and criticisms. Some of you, it is issues around criticisms. But yeah, that's what I'm getting with that. And it's like the second that you're realizing this stuff is coming up, you, you retreat. You retreat. Turn out the devil for Libra. Talking about the devil for Libra. Some of you are very sensitive to criticism. I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me. <laughs> okay. Some of you are very sensitive to criticism. Talking about the devil for Libra. Talking about the devil. Two of cups in reverse. Can't serene energy. Can also be soulmate energy for me as a reader. Yeah, for some of you, it is a soulmate triggering this for you. But I feel like it's many people. I got to be honest, Libra. I feel like it's bigger than just one person. Thank you. What well, one person represents to you. Thank you. Um, yeah, what well, one person represents to you. It's issues about social dynamics you've had through the course of your life, but it's being triggered by one person. A soulmate energy. And for some of you, this is basically coming, out, coming on at the end of of a breakup or at the end of a fight that you've had with uh with a soulmate a soulmate could be a friend a co-worker a family member it doesn't have to be a romantic interest a lot of you i do feel like it is romantic interest yeah it feels like a fight that you had that's bringing up this stuff time about the devil for libra time about the devil for libra overall energy page of swords in reverse Ooh, and then we've got the magician mercurial energy Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader, divine masculine energy. Page of Swords in reverse, I do feel it's it's just about like that, what the, God, I don't want to say the way we lie to ourselves, but the way we lie to ourselves, <laughs> the way we lie to ourselves, the illusion, magician, the illusion we create for ourselves in the world that we live in and the way that we see the world because we don't want to face our own fears and we don't even realize we're afraid. I know this is heavy ass shit, Libra, but I'm talking to some Libras or people Libras are connecting with. That are realizing that they've got a lot of fears and they've really been held back um, from being themselves they've really been held back in life from addictions or codependency issues inner demons so to speak and this is being brought on because there's been a fight with someone a fight with a soulmate energy and it's put this person it's put you or this person into a major um state of just like mental torture almost because it's like you can't really escape it now it's it's been thrown in your face through this argument it's been thrown in your face and you can't really deny it that all of these little things, these little triggers, these little little inner, little inner demons, <laughs> it was hard to say, little inner, inner demons are relating to some conditioning or social norms or what have you that were really formed through the course of your life, okay, by other people. And you've kind of tricked yourself into thinking otherwise for quite some time here, okay? For some of you, you could find out that this woman of yours was a big fat liar, a big trickster, and that also could be kind of setting you into this underworld mode here to kind of face this stuff of wow i didn't know who they really were right so some of you were definitely done with the trickster and that's brought up shit for you now let's look at your ghosting period okay <laughs> let's look at you and your healing process and then we'll see how you're coming back to the light uh, i'm gonna use rider weight for this one tell me about the four of swords tell me about the four of swords for libra 
So I got the Four of Swords for Libra. While you're in this ghosting period and you're healing, you are very protected, Libra. I just want to make that very clear. You, you might feel very alone. You might feel very vulnerable. You might feel really sad. Um, but you're protected and you have a lot of ancestors around you. Okay? And some of you, this is interesting, uh, some of you, as you're doing this work, you do have people that are part of your soul tribe that are kind of waiting for you to come out of ghost mode. Um, and they they know. It's like they know. Libra, I feel like you're not even aware that these people, some of you are not aware that these people who are part of your soul tribe are part of your soul tribe. They might even just be acquaintances, like people that you don't feel incredibly close to. That's going to be for some of you. And, and as you come back to the light here, uh, you might be very pleasantly surprised. So I got the Four of Swords. Because as we face issues like this, we, we set more into who we authentically are. And then once we are who we're supposed to be, essentially, Libra, um, we know who our soul tribe is. We can just feel it. We just know. We just see. You just see better. You just see a hell of a lot better when you don't have those inner demons or ego working against you. So I got the Four of Swords. <coughs> oh, shit. Excuse me. As I say that, my throat chakra is like, yep. <coughs> Sorry, Libra. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Yeah, you're not moving. You're not moving. <laughs> you're going to stay in this ghosting MIA mode as long as you, you have to. As long as you have to. And again, some of you, I still feel that resistance, a little bit of stubbornness to kind of face your shit. But at the same time, you can't, you can't fight it. Like, it's inevitable. You're falling down into the underworld here, Libra, and you can't stop the fall. That's interesting. Yeah, they're actually showing me someone like falling down a hill. You can't stop the fall into the underworld. Even though you, you kind of want to, you can't. You can't. Either way, you're putting your life on pause to deal with these issues once you realize you can't fight this anymore. Time about the Four of Swords. So you might have had a health scare too. I just picked up on that. So you might have had a health scare. Time about the Four of Swords. Whoa. Whoa. Mm hmm. I knew I felt a fight somewhere. Yep. Queen of Wands, Aries energy could also be fire or water with the Page of Wands in a verse. Queen of Wands is uh, Aries energy. It is your natural seventh Libra. Natural seventh means your natural counterpart, your natural complement, like Taurus to Scorpio, Virgo to Pisces, Aqua to Leo, or Aries to Libra, okay? Page of Wands, you could also share a child with this person, not necessarily, but yeah, whoever it is that you you just had this little bicker, bicker, why can't I speak today? This little fight with, it might not have been so little, but we'll just say Tiff. This little tiff, yeah, this is what sent you into this ghosting energy, this ghosting mode, this MIA mode, because you had to. It brought up so much shit for you. You had to, and it all happened for a reason. I uh, almost called you Leo, Libra. It happened for a reason. Oh, come back. Okay. It happened for a reason because it was time to face this stuff. Try out the Four of Swords. Keep in mind, we're still in that full moon Aries energy, and that's exactly how this woman energy full moon Aries energy works, okay? Time of the Four of Swords for Libra. Woo! King of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. I actually, Libra, I feel like this is your energy here. Oh, Libra. Oh, okay, okay. Like I said, guys, this can always be vice versa. I'm just the messenger and I have to be honest with what I get as a reader. King of Cups in reverse, page of wands in reverse with this queen of, of wands here. Libra, whatever this fight was, I gotta be honest, it seems like you were kind of, were you cold? I just feel a little bit of like an emotional cutoff here. I feel a little, yeah, I gotta be honest, Libra. It feels kind of cold. It feels a little bit also like emotional manipulation. Keep in mind, guys, emotional manipulation is not always like I'm going to scheme on how to plague on their emotions. That's not always how emotional manipulation works, okay? Um, how, like, how else do I kind of explain emotional manipulation? Uh, water signs are really great at it. Water signs, because really, they're water. They, they rule emotions. They understand how that works. Um, like, uh, another example of emotional manipulation could be, like, they just know you so well that they know exactly what it is that you're feeling and exactly what to say to get you to look at your other emotions. Oh, I, I said this recently, didn't I? I said this in a reading recently, and it might have been for a, a water reading. No, I think it was for fire, actually, if I'm not mistaken. It might have been for a fire reading. Anyway, Libra. I keep hearing Leo, and it's making me crazy. Uh, Libra. You, the way you behaved in this tiff, I gotta be honest. 
not super appropriate i'm just being honest here like i said you could be the queen of wands you could this could totally be vice versa but it does seem a little childish it seems very cold like emotionally detached at the same time i think there was some emotional manipulation there and even though it seems again i'm not trying to talk shit it's i'm just literally picking up on that right and even you can just see it in the cards page of wands in reverse is terrible communication or snippety communication or it's also my bad news card here okay either way libra whatever was said on your end and however things were left it seems like things came to a major standstill between you and this person okay major standstill between you and this person after this fight it does feel like a fight or an argument of some kind or a disagreement and after the fact you're kind of like oh shit why did i react that way why was i triggered that way in particular and then you start falling down into the underworld okay it happened for a reason we're all human we all make mistakes okay Time about the four of swords for libra Time about the four of swords for libra and you're healing from it you're also healing from it it's it's important to look back on how we treat people if you know whether we treat people great or shitty it's always it's always important to look back on that okay Ooh my overall energy we have the emperor aries energy taurus energy divine masculine energy and then we have the seven of pentacles oh my <laughs> oh my here Tor a lot of taurian energy with this a lot of taurian energy libra i gotta be honest i do feel like it's your energy and keep in mind, it can be vice versa. This very masculine Libra energy that I'm tapped into. Uh, Libra, it seems like in this ghosting energy, it's like such a period of waiting. Such a period of waiting. Let me put it this way. Whoever acted inappropriately is now waiting. Because they're in their healing process. They're in their ghosting energy. I feel like the other person went ghost too. Yeah, they did. Thank you, spirit. They did. Both parties went ghost after this discussion. I'll just call it a discussion. Both parties went ghost. But the person who acted inappropriately is now just kind of like an oh fuck kind of moment. Looking back on what they've done, looking back on how they've spent their time on how they've treated people, looking back into their past. Again, Libra, like I said, I do feel like this is your energy of falling down into the rabbit hole of the underworld here to kind of face your stuff and to heal your stuff and to, you know, purge it out. Purge it out and deal with it. Get rid, you know, exercise those inner demons, you know? But I do feel like both parties went ghost after this event. Now let's look at this energy where you're coming into the light here, Libra, not Leo, where you're coming into the light after dropping off some of these burdens, these wounds, these inner demons. Some of you are also uh, clearing out your life a little bit, not trying to juggle so much, not trying to perform for people. Oh, Libra, trying not to perform for people. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's look at strength because that's you coming into the light, so to speak. I'm going to use steampunk for this one. And then we'll go ahead and do another spread. This one got kind of long. This one got kind of lengthy. Talking about strength for Libra. Talking about strength for Libra. Sorry, I'm being pulled into this Queen of Wands energy really quickly. I'm being pulled into this person. Um, I think whenever this happened between you and this person, like I said, both of you kind of went ghost. Both of you kind of went silent. Libra, you went, you went to be alone to deal with these inner demons of yours. Uh, this other person, I think, was just just was like, Queen of Wands upright. They know their value. They know their worth. They're also very attractive. They're also very busy. So I think they just kind of went off to do their own thing. Yeah, they just kind of went off to do their own thing, whatever makes them happy. But I felt like communication just, they, it stopped. It stopped. <coughs> Excuse me. Tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. For Libra. Talking about strength for Libra. Talking about strength for Libra. Mm hmm. Conquering the wounds. Conquering the inner wounded warrior of you, Libra. I love this. Sad energy because overall, this is you dropping all that shit, dropping those walls. This is you conquering those walls and those wounds that come with the walls the wall the wounds that have built the walls so to speak maybe that's what i'll start calling this card from now on the wounded wall <laughs> i don't know why they made me laugh sorry guys talking about strength for libra talking about strength nine of cups i love it libra this is piscean energy yeah because you're choosing your happiness 
you want to be happy. You want to be content in life. You don't want to be plagued by these inner demons or the ghosts of the past or any, any of that shit. Like, you don't want to be haunted by any of that anymore. You want to be really free and you want to be really happy on your own. This is also conquering codependency. I really like it, Libra. Talking about strength. You're going to be very uh, radiant after this because you'll just have recently purged a lot of that funky energy. Tell me more about strength for Libra. Tell me about strength for Libra. Tell me about strength for Libra. <laughs> you want to know what just landed on the five of cups? In, I mean, the five, the five. Wow. The king of cups in reverse. The five of pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Libra. My Libras who identify as the king of cups in reverse here. This king of cups wants to wants to come out of their their ghosting mode. They want to come out of their hermit mode. They, they want to come out of the underworld and come back up to the light and be around people. And I do feel this person does want to be around this queen of, uh, queen of wands energy. It's funny. I almost called her the queen of cups. Queen of wands energy. They want to come out of that. I'm also, um, hmm. Libras, for those where you're dealing with these inner demons where you're the king of cups in reverse, you might find that your career might really benefit from this little healing process. Talking about strength for Libra. Yeah, four of swords, Libra energy. Coming out of that hermit mode. Coming out of that ghosting, healing, gotta be alone mode. Coming out of the underworld, essentially. Oh my god, and what did I say to the light? Overall, the freaking sun. Leo energy. Yeah. L look at the turnaround, Libra. This is an amazing process. You went to the underworld, into the dark, to come out to the light. That is freaking beautiful. I love it. I really, really love it. And a lot of you, this is dealing with your codependency issues, whatever your inner demons are here, okay? Some of you will reconcile with this Queen of Wands, but not all of you will. Not all of you will, but some of you will, okay? This person triggered you or you had this tip with this person to go there, okay? To go to the underworld to deal with these issues. Oh gosh, Libra, that was a little intense a little intense for a first one but let's go ahead and do a second spread here for other peoples as i clear the board what do i want to start oh you know what Santum worth is kind of calling me actually i haven't used that deck in a while if i could pick it up okay yeah let's use this one for my libras all right let's try to hit up on another group of libras here oh as the camera freaks out any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Any messages for a different group of Libras? Sometimes all the messages resonate with each other. Um, I've seen that in the comment section before. Sometimes people just resonate with one. <clears throat> Just depends on what you got going on in your life. Any messages for different groups of Libras, please? Any messages for different groups of Libras, please? Ay, yay, yay. Okay. Oh my, Libra, we've got the full universe. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because there's a Uranus card. I feel like someone's afraid to jump. Someone's afraid to leap. Someone's afraid to start something new. Wow. Yeah, who? Libra. This is someone who's very held back, very, very held back. They see what they, they actually see what they want. They're afraid to take that leap though. Hold on, I need a little coffee. Mm. They're afraid to take that leap. Wow, four of wands in reverse Aries energy. Someone could be afraid to leave a relationship. Oh, thank you. That's exactly what it is. Okay. <laughs> wow. Someone's afraid to leave a relationship that is no longer working. Four of Wands in reverse could also be just a household energy. Um, afraid to kind of leave a really bad home situation or even a bad work situation. Four of Wands is a foundation that's been built. Okay. Um, someone's afraid to leave a relationship. It feels really strong relationship though. Really strong relationship energy. Someone's afraid to leave someone behind. Or what they know, that's what it is. It's more about comfort. They're afraid to leave what they know and what they're comfortable with and who they know. They're afraid of that. 
Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hi. <laughs> Six of Swords. Six of Swords, guys. Aquarian energy to move on into peace. It's so clear. Someone's literally afraid to move on. Someone's afraid to move on. There's like nothing else to say. Someone's afraid to move on. It's, it's that simple. Someone's afraid to move on. Let's see what other cards want to come out here. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Oh, interesting. Got the Nine of Wands out, Sag energy. This card's been coming out for a lot of people uh, recently here. Um, is this a, wait, hold on. Is this a block? Wait, what is this spirit? It's almost like someone's afraid of the consequences. I'm actually, I'm getting a block. I'm getting a block, but it's coming in after the, the, the movement. It's almost like, I know I'm unhappy. I know this isn't working. I know I need to leave. And if it's, oh, that's what it is. It's like the two possibilities in this person's head. That's what, that's, that's what it is. That's what's going on in this person's head. I know I need to leave. I'm afraid to leave because of this. I could leave and find peace or I could leave and just hit a brick wall. I can hit a dead end. That's so interesting. Someone's thinking of it like that. I mean, everyone thinks of things differently, but in my mind, I'm like, if I, if I know I'm in a bad situation, relationship or otherwise, a bad foundation of sorts, I, I guess my brain just works differently because I, in my mind, I'd be like, there's only this option because I know what I'm in now doesn't work. I know what I'm in now is falling apart. So I can either sit here and let things fall apart or I can just not, right? Or I can not. I guess I would never think that leaving would lead to a dead end. But someone, I feel like someone's thinking that. Someone's thinking that. I could have peace or, or it could blow up in my face. It's that kind of energy. Oh, come back. Okay. Yeah, I, I could have peace or it could blow up in my face. Someone's thinking that. Any other messages for Libra? Ooh, we've got judgment, fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. This is making a judgment call. Like quite literally, it's almost like spirits like, hey, uh, you're, you're, you're running out of time. If you, if you don't leave, we're going to make you leave. Like that's kind of, I really feel like spirits acting that way. Because guys, tower moments, for those who don't know what tower moments are, tower moments are basically foundations are ripped out from under you. The tower comes crumbling down. And usually towers happen because they're supposed to they're due to divine timing. Or we're being stubborn and not leaving something behind that we need to leave behind. And then spirit comes in and is like, well, we're going to make, we're, we're just going to make this happen because you're, you're taking too long. Or you're dragging your ass. Or it's just not working for you. Or it's causing too much stagnancy in your life. Towers also come in to teach us lessons if we're being really stubborn and not learning those lessons. So while whoever wants to leave Libra is thinking... It could be a great thing or it could blow up in my face. Well, this person's busy thinking that. Spirit's coming in to be like, it's time to make a judgment call. It, it's time. It's time to make a judgment call. Any other messages for Libra regarding this spread? Any other messages for Libra? Okay, let's see what we got here. Whoa. <laughs> Seven of Wands in reverse, Leo energy, and Eight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Eight of Wands, there's that communication, there's that movement. Eight of Wands is physical movement, also indicative of travel here, coming in after judgment. In, with the Seven of Wands, I'm getting such a weird energy. Is it vulnerability? Yeah, that's what it is. That's what that is. I was getting, like, exposure. Like... I feel naked. <laughs> it's kind of how that feels. Uh, spirits coming in here. I, I feel like the situation is making this person very vulnerable. Whoever is, is struggling to leave this situation or relationship or whatever. And spirits coming in to like almost to make this person feel more vulnerable. This is so weird. Um, it might just be getting worse and worse and worse by the day. The longer this person stays in this to the point where eight of wands, they might just burst out and leave. They might finally just burst out and leave. I do feel for some there's going to be some communication that, oh, that's also what it is. Thank you. There's some communication coming in here that's divinely guided, divinely orchestrated, that is going to make this person feel vulnerable and almost humiliated. Ooh. Ooh. Humiliated. 
Oh, that doesn't feel good. I also got two travel cards here, so travel is very highly aspected for any Libras resonating with this. Overall energy, we have four of swords in reverse Libra energy with the five of swords in reverse underneath that. Um, Aquarian. <laughs> it's like, I know that sign. <laughs> Venus and Aquarian energy here. Uh, yeah, this is someone desperately wanting peace, but they're exhausted. They're exhausted and they're confused in how to get it. They want peace. They also want acceptance. They don't want to be where they are anymore, but they just, they don't understand what to do because at the end of the day, fear is keeping them in a place they shouldn't be anymore. And shit's about, shit is almost about to get taken out of their hands to deal with it because they're not dealing with it because they keep going back and forth of blow up in my face or it could be successful, blow up in my face or it could be successful. When we what, when we what if shit like that over and over and over again, we end up stagnating ourselves, especially if we already know what we're in isn't working. If you are not happy in whatever it is you're doing, whoever it is you're talking to, whoever it is you're dealing with in anything, if you're not happy, it's time to go. Okay. If it can't get resolved, it's time to drop it. It's time to drop it. And this person knows that. They just are too afraid to leave. They're too afraid. So let's look at the full universe. Let's look at the full universe. I'm going to use Gilded for this one. Time at the oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whole, the whole half of the deck just fell out of my hand. Okay. Time at the full universe. Time at the full universe for Libra. <clears throat> Talk about the full universe for Libra. 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 Talk about the full universe. Wow, yeah, see the hanged man, Piscean energy. This person is just keeping themselves stuck. They're intentionally keeping themselves stuck out of fear. So I'm at the full universe. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now, a little twisted turn of events. The moon universe, Piscean energy, also can't stare in for me as a reader. So this is what's coming out to light. As they sit in this, as they sit in this stagnicity, as they sit in this fear, they are realizing something. And the hangman usually comes out as a spiritual pause because it's it's alluding to enlightenments and revelations to come. This person's having a little bit of a revelation and they're realizing something. Ten of swords in a verse, Gemini energy, page of pentacles in a verse, and three of pentacles in a verse. Three of pentacles in a verse is like not really uh, collaborating, not working, not functioning with other people, um, not building working at, yeah actually i'm getting hearing dismantling ten of swords in a verse could be resisting an ending or a betrayal or a lot of a lot of freaking pain page of pentacles in a verse i'm actually getting carelessness with this carelessness they're realizing the longer they stay it's almost like the they're almost regressing they're almost regressing they're losing pieces of themselves this is interesting the longer they stay, they're losing more and more pieces of themselves. It's it's so exhausting staying whatever it is that, that is not working that, yeah, they keep losing like more and more energy every day. They keep losing more and more sleep. Yeah, they just like keep losing more and more of themselves. And I'm also getting something about money. Um, something about greed is interesting. Something about greed, something about money, something about materials. That'll resonate for whoever, so whoever it's supposed to resonate for, excuse me. Tell me more about the full universe for Libra. Tell me more about the full universe for Libra. Tell me more about the full universe for Libra. Last card out. Eight of Pentacles. I like seeing this card. This is Virgo energy. This is putting shit to work. There's also studying studying a situation, researching a situation. It's also a student card. You could be a student or you could be connecting with someone who's a student. But basically putting in the work, putting in the hours to really figure out what's best. Overall, we got the Ace of Swords. We have Truth. Ooh, and then we've got a Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water with the freaking chariot. Oh, I love this. Oh, I so love this. Cancerian energy. This is realizing, okay. I do need to get the hell out of Dodge. I know I do. I know I do. I know I have to take action to leave this person behind. For others, I'm also getting like a true one. 
it's gonna make a second video in a second so we might lose literally one second sorry i don't know why my phone does that it just does um i am also getting like a true one here with the ace of swords and the queen of wands i mean this is this could also be contracts libra if you are if you are if you're the one stuck in a situation and you know you need to leave some of you might be leaving one relationship for another i did just hear inspired okay inspired yes some of you might be leaving one relationship for another some of you could be dealing with someone who is a little money hungry here someone who could also be a student again not necessarily i really feel like it's you putting yourself to work to get out of your situation to get out of your situation whether it's just a bad work environment or a bad relationship but i feel like you see like what you could have after going through the motions of this after being resistant and full of fear and then really seeing the truth of wow staying in this is actually making me regress or staying in this is actually taking away pieces of myself or staying in this is basically staying with someone who's money hungry or a job that's money hungry i gotta work my way out of this and you will oh i like it i really like it and for some it's towards someone else okay and we do have the three of swords on the bottom in reverse this could be ending of a third party situation or just ending of the pain of this whole situation here okay i like it libra and then this whole thinking of it could blow up in my face or it could be really awesome that's going to dissipate that's going to be gone and then we have communication and movement going ahead here okay so let's oh judgment or eight of wands mm, i like judgment let's look at judgment here let's look at judgment uh, I'm going to use legacy for this one, actually. Oh, I don't know if I made a second video yet. If it did, sorry, guys. Tell me about judgment. I think it did. Damn it. I always try to time it so I don't like, you know, you guys don't miss anything in that one second. Tell me about judgment for Libra. Tell me about judgment. I really feel like this is divine intervention for Libra. Tell me about judgment for Libra. Tell me about judgment for Libra. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy, leaving the ship behind. I love it. I love it. Eight of Cups always leads to the ten. Tell me more about judgment. Oh, yeah. See, look at what you're leaving behind. Three of Pentacles in a verse. Whatever what you were leaving behind, Libra, it was working against you. Okay? Very, very much so working against you. And you're just like, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't need to be dealing that. I don't need to be there. I don't need to be with that person. I don't need to be in that work environment. I don't need to be in that home environment. It was working against me. Oh, and look at what you're heading towards. Empress. Libra energy could also be Taurus because it is Venus. Also divine feminine energy. Like I said, for some of you, you're heading towards a person. Heading towards an Empress energy. Others, you're just heading off into something that's way more beneficial for you. Something that will elevate you from a Queen of Wands to an Empress status. Empress has been through all the Queens. They, they are all the Queens, essentially. They also run their own shit. They run their own shit. They have their own stability. They got their own resources. They're pretty badass, actually. Some of you, like I said, are heading towards an empress. Some of you are becoming an empress here, okay? I freaking love it. There's a lot of growth. A lot of growth and a lot of abundance coming your way. You gotta leave this behind, though, Libra. If, the, if you're the one stuck in this, you gotta leave this behind. Libra, someone could be heading towards you. This is a Libra energy, like I already said, okay? Tell me about judgment for Libra. Tell me about judgment for Libra. <laughs> oh my, oh my. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, yeah. Some of you are just gonna build up your abundance so fucking big. <laughs> Others, like I said, it's like you're ready to put your shit to work and to leave this situation behind to invest in another person. Either way, abundance, abundance, abundance coming your way, okay? Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy with the Knight of Wands. Sag energy could also be Aries or Leo. This is coming out of the gate with a lot of ideas. A lot of ideas. Some of you are building a business for sure. For sure. Some of you are leaving a, a business, a, a job behind. And you're like, I'm just going to build up my own company. Fuck it. <laughs> Some of you are definitely having that stance. Got a lot of fire here, by the way. A lot of fire here. Others where you're choosing someone, you're coming out of the gate real fast. <clears throat> really fast, really hot, very passionate, and also with a lot of ideas. <laughs> 
<laughs> is what they just said. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, any Libras coming out of the gate heading towards an Empress energy? I do feel very masculine energy for that, um, that story that I'm picking up on. <laughs> you got a lot of ideas, and I feel this Empress might even say that to you. That's funny. Overall energy, Page of Wands. Ooh, my with a six of cups. Scorpionic energy could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy, family, or childhood energy as well. Um, honestly, Libra, whatever it is you're heading towards, like I said, abundance, 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 and a lot of you're building it for yourself. Um, and for some of you, this is also going back to your roots, and I feel like I picked up on this for you last couple weeks. I feel like I picked up on that somewhere, and I do feel like it was for you, Libra, where ideas that you had since you were a kid, things that you found passionate and awesome and fun when you were a kid, you put them down and now you're like, fuck, I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to build a business out of it. I'm going to build stability out of that. That's what some of you are going back or going into and you are going to build a lot of abundance from it. Okay. Others, it is those that creative ideas <laughs> where you're going towards someone. It's someone you have a lot of love for and a lot of passion for. There's so much passion here. It's like ridiculous. The Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands and the Page of Wands. Where's the king? Where's the King of Wands here? Anyway, um, this could also be someone that is from your past, not necessarily. It's definitely a soulmate energy. And again, it's like fun. It's fun. Yeah, Libra, if you're choosing a person here or heading towards a person, this person brings so much joy and passion and fun into your life. I feel like you can be very free with them. I feel like you can be yourself with them. And you really like that. And you're, you're needing that because you need to be nourished here. You need to be nourished. I really love this energy. This is awesome, guys. Um... Yeah, this was a beautiful spread. I don't think we need to clarify anything else here. We're kind of 15 minutes in. So I think I'll do one really quick third one. Like a quick third one. Actually, I might I might be a little atypical here. I might pull out the Romance Angel deck for this one. I haven't used that for YouTube in a while. I technically retired it, but I'm like, eh, why not bring it out again? Let me just get the, the decks all reorganized here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put this one back. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Let's do it, Libra. Let's pull the Romance Angel out and we'll start clarifying. I don't do that too often, but I kind of like the idea of it right now. <clears throat> Any messages for a different group of Libras? Any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Any messages for a different group of Libras? Any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Any messages for a different group of Libras? Any messages for a different group of Libras, please? Okay. Whoa, that's too many. That's too many and too quick. Any other messages for different groups of Libras? Okay. Spitting cards out at me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, Libra, I'm so glad I cracked this one out. Are you ready for this one? Are you ready for this one? As we're just talking about passion and the other one. This could be the one and passion. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love ending on this one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Libra. Passion is the sex card. It's the sex card for me. Sex, sex, sex card for me in this deck. And this could be the one quite literally. It's, it's exactly how it sounds. Okay. It's exactly how it sounds. <clears throat> I just heard somebody go, you mean Mr. Right Now. No, it's not Mr. Right Now. It's Mr. Right. Or Miss. Or Miss. A lot of passion, a lot of love. Like, these two cards are just like, wow. I I'm actually hearing perfect fit. <laughs> Libra, I love you, but some of your minds are totally in the gutter right now. <laughs> and they could be a perfect fit in that way. Congratulations if they are. Um, not easy to find that. Anyway, perfect fit. Fit fit a perfect fit my mouth isn't working <clears throat> i feel a lot of communication needing needing to come in on this one though <clears throat> uh, uh, libra for some of you this is definitely a new person holy shit but others this is someone you know and they they need to fucking tell you <clears throat> oh my god ah uh, hold on hold on mm. wow oh my god they need to tell you. I would not be surprised if we get a communication card out here. Any other messages for my Libras regarding this spread? Any other messages for my Libras regarding... <laughs> oh my god, I love when this happens. <laughs> 
Oh, do I even need the cards today? I don't know. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, someone needs to talk. Someone needs to say something. And then we have make the effort, which I love. Great love is we're taking the steps you're guided to take. <clears throat> uh, and on the bottom, we have you deserve love. You are lovable, Libras. Oh, my God. This is such an awesome spread. I just kind of want to look at it and like bask in it. It feels so positive. It feels so positive. So yes, this could be the one passion. Passions, love running really high in this connection. I can feel it running really, really high. Someone needs to fucking say it though. Sorry for my, for my French, but I, I cuss a lot. Can't help it. I just am who I am. Someone needs to say it. Someone needs to say it. Someone needs to put their best foot forward and just... <laughs> Sorry, I'm very sassy today for some reason. Uh, just grow the cojones to do it, <laughs> okay? <laughs> to just do it. Um, but I love that this is the overall energy of you deserve love and you are lovable because it's basically, and I always thought this is like Cupid's arrow with this, or you could, it's also a Saggy card for me. You could have Sag in your chart, this person could be a Sag, not necessarily. Um, but I feel like this is a connection, Libras, that maybe you haven't experienced before. You feel you've really been this is for Libras who've really been focusing on themselves, really loving themselves. And you know your worth, Libras, for the Libras that are resonating with this, you know your worth, you know your value here, you know what you deserve, you know what you're entitled to. And this, whatever this connection is, it's something that you I don't think you've experienced before. I, I know it's like a broken record, but I, re I really don't think you've experienced before. So let's go and have some fun and clarify some of these energies. Why not? Let's look at this could be the one. I was tempted to go right for passion, but it's like, don't be such a Scorpio. Ran it in. Okay. <clears throat> this could be the one. Tell me about this could be the one for Libra. I did just your self-respect. Libra, whoever this is that needs to talk, um, they know that you have a lot of self-respect. <clears throat> and it's actually taught them a lot about themselves, is what I'm getting intuitively. Wow. There needs to be some major truth here. Uh, tell me about this could be the one. Tell me what this could be the one for Libra. Tell me what this could be the one. Tell me what this could be the one for Libra. Like I said, some of you this could be a brand new person, but for there to be express your love here, like communication is very much needed. I do feel like you know them already, okay? <clears throat> for some of you, if this is someone from your past, I don't even want to go down that road, but I know it's, I, I'm feeling intuitively. I just, I get, I know you guys get annoyed with those, those storylines, but it's just the truth, you know? A lot of people are always dealing with people from their past. Um, I feel like there was an argument, okay, of some kind. Oh, wow. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. And as I said, that the Ace of Pentacles in reverse comes out. Um, someone does want to put in a lot of work into this, Libra. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, they could have feel like they missed out on you already. Some of them feel like they're losing their chance with you. I'm getting a lot of different things. So, uh, <coughs> For some, they really feel like they um, they could have lost their chance with you already. Others feel like they're losing you. Some of you did have a fight with this person for sure. If you, this is someone from your past, you definitely had a fight with them. Um, some feel like they're losing you to competition. Others, I'm also getting, they're actually working on their money here. It's almost like, um, oh, Ow. They don't feel worthy? Some don't feel worthy. So like they're actually working actively on their money situation to be worthy for you. I don't I never like I don't like when I pick up on energies like that. I don't know why that bothers me, but it does. I'm just being honest with you. It just bothers me on a personal level. But building it's almost like building up their nest egg. They could also be investing and saving money for a gift or even a ring, I'm being honest here, or for a ring for you. Tell me more about this could be the one. Tell me about this could be the one for Libra. Whoa. Three of swords, Libra energy. Yeah, this person's been hurting Libra. Because like I said, for some, they feel like they lost you. For some, they feel like they, they're losing you to other people or just losing you in general, and that really hurts them. Could also be from a third-party situation. If you already know you're in a third-party situation, you already know. Um... And for those where they're trying to like build up their money enough to like give you a gift or to take care of you or like I don't like that energy but it's just what I'm picking up on to take care of you or to like be up to your level or whatever it is it's really kind of hurting them 
it's really hurting them. Let's see what else we have here. And like I said, for some, you gotta fight with this person. Tell me about this could be the one. Tell me about this could be the one for Libra. Tell me about this could be the one for Libra. I got another card out here. Can't see what it is, it's face down. Tell me about this could be the one. Yeah, the Queen of Wands is making quite the appearance, isn't she? Ooh, world in reverse. Fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, also Saturn, Jules, Capricorn. They don't want, they don't, they don't want to lose their chance with you, Libra. My God, look at this. Look at this energy. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose you. In, in their eyes, you, if I could pick this up, in their eyes, you are definitely the one for them. And they want to put in that effort. They want to put in that work to prove it to you. Whether they feel like they need more money to prove it. I don't like that energy, but I'm just picking up on that. Whether they feel like they need more money for you or that they just need to like really impress you because they feel like they've lost you to someone else or that they've lost you entirely or that because they feel like they fall short that they're not worthy and they're working on that it's hurting them it's hurting the fuck out of them okay and they really don't want to lose you world universe they don't want this to end they don't want this to end they don't want to lose their chance forever is what i'm getting overall energy queen of wands aries energy could also be fire or water very attractive energy very seductive energy irresistible this connection is irresistible to them and they're losing their mind that they feel like they can't have you right now i'm gonna come back to passion i want to look at express your love first because th this is what they clearly need to say right um they need to talk about making the effort and that they want to make the effort with you is what i'm getting with that let's do express your love i actually am very feeling very compelled to use little norman deck here okay tell me about express your love for libra and then we'll get to passion Tell me about Express Your Love. Oh! I'm such a girl today. I'm sorry. The heart. Love. Uh, 24, bring it down to a six with the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is a, a pursuing energy. It's a coming in to give love, to talk, to communicate. Very charming. It's the. It's not just flirting. It's like, it's really like giving loving messages and communication here. They really love you, Libra. They really love you. Tell me about Express Your Love for Libra. Do you know this? Hold on. Do you know this? Oh, for those of you who had a fight with this person, Libras, I love you. I'm just telling you what I'm picking up on. It This energy that I'm getting from you were those where you had a fight with this person. You know they love you, but in your head, it's kind of like it doesn't matter. Whatever the fight was, it must have been really bad. Because in your head it's like love ain't enough. Love does not matter. It doesn't doesn't matter. Doesn't doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter that they love me. They they did this that or the other. They said this that or the other. And that that is, you know, that's that. Some of you do feel that way. You'll know who you are. And of course, you don't have to take this person back for those where you had a fight with this person. For those where you haven't been with this person yet, I don't think you know. I don't think you know. For those who you you're not committed to this person or you've never been committed to this person. Oh communication the birds seven of pentacles investments yeah talk about love they want to talk to you libra they do but it's like this eight of pentacles energy some are really holding back until they get a certain amount of money or they can build themselves up to a certain kind of status or they can really impress you in some way they don't want it they don't want to until they can do that talking about express your love The Book of Secrets, 26, bring it down to an eight with the 10 of Pentacles. For some, this person wants to have a family with you. And they haven't, they definitely haven't told you that. <coughs> this is definitely for Libras that don't have children with this person. <coughs> they do secretly want a family, Libra. They want a family with you. They want to invest long term with you, legacy with you. Even if it's not like children, family, it's like, I want to build a home with you. I want to build a home with you. So I'm about to express your love. So I'm expert. Oh, and there's the blockages, the mountain. 21 breaking down to a three. Eight, <coughs> eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the eight of wands. Eight of wands. Eight of pentacles is kind of a block because they feel like they have to do this before they can even say anything. And I don't feel like it's it's necessary. I gotta be honest. It's like if you love someone, you just, you just tell them you fucking love them, right? <coughs> you just tell them you love them. Love is just love, guys. Anyway eight of wands so 
they want to move past this blockage that they have. We might look closer at that. We'll see if the Lenormand deck goes into this blockage. Tell me more about Express Your Love for Libra. Oh, yeah, I love this. Getting rid of the blockages. Um, there. What's the other substitute word for this? God damn it, someone, sickle, that's what it is, sickle. Energy of 10, so closing cycles and opening new cycles with the Knight of Pentacles. This person's very pentacle focused here, Libra. They feel like they need money to impress you. I gotta be honest, that's what I'm getting. They feel like they need money to impress you or that they need to be a certain status to impress you and that's just not the truth. That's just not the truth and they wanna get rid of this blockage that they have from talking to you about it. Overall, oh my God, the key. <laughs> 33 the master number with the eight of pentacles this is the eight of pentacles here they think money's the answer and i don't really like that they don't i don't i don't really like that i don't at all underneath that though we do have confusion with the king of wands king of wands to the queen of wands here energy of of six they do want to talk to you libra they want to get rid of this blockage that they have of talking to you about it they're confused on how to how to do it. They really are confused on how to do it, but they want to do it. They they love they love you so much. It's like it's ridiculous. Um, for some, it might have taken them a while to realize how much they love you. Like I said, some of you guys had like a little fight. Oh, come back. Some of you guys had like a fight or a tiff of some kind, and in that time, I think they realized to the severity of what they felt for you. Um, oh no, oh no, did I just lose a? Oh crap. I just lost a stud. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Why? That gave me the chills when I said that. I just lost a stud. <laughs> Whether you're a female or not, you're quite a stud, Libra. <laughs> just lost my stud. Anyway. All right. So let's look at passion and then we'll wrap this up. Because passion's going to be fun. So why not look at it, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I really want to use like my sexual magic for this one, but I know I can't for YouTube. I know other readers do. We're not supposed to. I just, you know, trying to keep them off my back as much as possible. Tell me about passion for Libra. Tell me about passion for Libra. Tell me about passion for Libra. For some, their family could be an obstacle. I'm sorry, I'm getting a download. For some, their family could be an obstacle. You know, you guys just could be from very different religious backgrounds or ethnic backgrounds. Um, their family could have an issue with you for whatever reason or another, or they know their family would have an issue for you, with you for whatever reason or another. That could be one of their blocks. Tell me about passion for Libra. Tell me about passion for Libra. Tell me about passion for Libra. So it seems Libra as of right now, they want you, they feel like they need more money or, or more status in order to be with you for whatever reason or another. Um, underneath passion, we have chariot and reverse Cancerian energy. They just can't tell you. They want to, but right now they're really blocked from doing it. Tell me about passion. So basically, Libra, you got someone who loves you, wants a family with you, wants the whole enchilada with you, but they just ain't saying shit. The star. Ooh, Aquarian energy. Oh, interesting. Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy, and the Ace of Swords in reverse. You're the one, Libra. Chariot in reverse with the star. They are they know. They know. Star, I'm getting like, you know, wish wish fulfillment what this person's always wanted, what this person's always wished for, but you're in a verse not moving towards it. Not moving towards it. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords in a verse. I don't love this energy. We might look closer at this with the Kipper deck because I actually feel like dis like dis deception or disillusionment. Illusion. Illusion. Yeah, illusion. Lack of truth. And of course, lack of communication. Two of Pentacles, though, I'm actually getting juggling with this, which is why I don't like it. So we're going to look at that a little closer. A little bit of like, I don't know what to do, but I, I do feel like actual juggling and I don't like that. Tell me about passion. Tell me about passion. We've got two other cards out here. Tell me about passion for Libra. Tell me about passion for Libra. 
Wow, now we got three more cards. There's a lot going on here. Whoa. Yeah, High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy, also Gemini for me as a reader with the Page of Wands. This is realizing how much passion this person has for you. Again, I feel for some of you who, de who definitely had a fight with this person, it's like they realized how much they care after the fact. After the fact and how much they want to communicate to you. Oh. Wow. Eight of Cups, Piscean. This like this hurt to look at it. The energy off of this one really hurts. Eight of Cups, Piscean energy, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, and the Five of Cups. Oh, fuck, Scorpionic energy. For those where there was a fight, definitely someone walked away. Libra, I feel like it might have been you. It could have been them because they've got this major blockage of communication and that just like trapped them in sadness. Trap them in sadness. Also, this energy of not being able to move forward in communication is making, is like really painful. It's really painful. I'm also getting a little bit of depression with this. And again, it's like whoever had, if you guys had a fight, they realize this after the fact. They get hit with this emotion after the fact. After you leave or they leave and they're like, God damn it, I really do love Libra. God damn it, I really do have a lot of passion for Libra here. Yeah, but this Two of Pentacles and Ace of Swords in reverse, I don't like that. So we're going to look closer at that. Hold on. Overall energy for passion. Four of Wands. Aries energy. You're the one to them. You're it. Like, you're it. But again, for some, I don't think they realized it till after they had a fight with you. Others where you don't know this person, they just have a lot of blockages and they're trapped in fear and they're really sad that they haven't been able to get rid of get over their own blockages which is the eight of swords energy get rid of their own blockages to move forward and tell you but there's a lot going on with this card and we're gonna take a look at it definitely gonna use kipper for this one so of the two of pentacles with the ace of swords in reverse so of the two of pentacles with the ace of swords in reverse why are the two of pentacles and ace of swords in reverse here did i just get a peeker i did Ooh. Toil and labor, 38 breaking down to an 11. Obligation. Obligation. There's something about obligation here. I feel like it's attached to the Ace of Swords in reverse. It's part of that illusion. Illusion of obligation. Tell me about Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in reverse. This person better not be juggling on you, Libra. Tell me about Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Oh, we've got bad health. 31 breaking down to a four. Bad health could just be stress or a bad way of thinking. Like, you know, <clears throat> it's any kind of imbalance in a physical, emotional, or mental state here around obligation. Um, like I said, for some, their family could be um, a hindrance. Maybe they have a sick family member that they have to take care of. That could be it. And maybe they feel like they have to choose between doing that or like, or choose between that and you. But it's obligation. It's all centered around obligation. Tell me about Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords in reverse. One other card. Journey. Travel. Oh, yeah. For some, they, for some, they have to travel for a sick family member. Definitely getting that. For some, they have to travel for a sick family member. And I don't think they've told you this. And it's almost like they feel, I have to keep doing this. I can't do this and be with Libra. They think they can't have both. For whatever reason or another. And I don't think it's true. I think, it, again, it's an illusion. Ace of Swords in reverse. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> also, this could indicate an ending of some sort. Because Journey is traveling away from something. It's also cyclical energy here. Okay? Um, whatever the obligation is in their head, they have the option to get rid of that illusion of, I need to stay obligated to this thing and I can't be with Libra because of it. They they have the option of going to that place, but they have to choose it. They have to use free will to go to that place of, I no longer have to be obligated to the thing I think I have to be obligated to. And for those where they're dealing with a sick family member, I believe they could do both. I believe that they could do both, where they could deal with a sick family member and also be with you, but they need to come to that decision on their own. Over, Overall, yeah, family room. For some, it's definitely a family issue here. 21 breaking down to a three, also an energy of communication, <laughs> okay? For some, their family is a hindrance or your family is a hindrance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, family room is a timeline energy of 24 hours to a month out. So a month ago to a month from now, something could have happened or will happen in regarding this, whoever's resonating with this, okay? 24 hours to a month out. 
timeline energy, but family is definitely one of the hindrances here that they haven't told you about or they haven't discussed with you. Yeah, either on your end or their end, for sure. Either way, they love you. You're the one to them. They just don't know how to tell you yet. So Libras, those are the three spreads. I hope you guys found them insightful, helpful, and fun to some extent. And I hope you guys have a really, really awesome birthday, okay? Don't forget to check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Patreon, and BitChute. And I will see you guys later. Have a great birthday, Libras. Namaste.